Coming up on today's episode of the Airborne Unlimited, TrueTrack Autopilot now available for Cessna 172 and 177 models. Dynon releases software update for Skyview and new updated Sea Rays introduced. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's April 4th, 2017, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Our friends at TrueTrack Flight Systems have just announced that they are offering PMA autopilot install kits for the Cessna 172F through R models, as well as the Cessna 177. EAA was awarded the STC for the install kits on March 28th. TrueTrack received their low-risk PMA on March 30th. TrueTrack has continued to work with EAA on the remainder of the Vision Autopilot approval, which is expected later this summer. TrueTrack will begin selling the install kits at Sun & Fun in Lakeland, Florida at their indoor booth A93. Install kits will be priced at $1,000 and will include all required mounting brackets, AN hardware, and will include a free wiring harness. TrueTrack will be displaying their Cessna 172 aircraft at EAA's outdoor booth LD007. The Vision Autopilot will be installed in the aircraft so that patrons may see and learn about the system. TrueTrack has been working very closely with the FAA on a new risk-based PMA approval process under this new process. Once the ACO determines the risk level for a project, the facility PMA requirements are scaled accordingly. The applicant and MIDO interaction is greatly simplified for projects that are low risk, which translates to faster approval times and much less time and money spent on mapping explaining a company's existing quality system. After 25 years and over 700 iterations of one of the most pivotal sport amphib sport plane programs in sport aviation history, the staff and management of Progressive Aerodyne are shaking things up a bit in order to serve the needs of those with fly on a budget, as well as those who want the best of everything. Two new iterations of the venerable Sea Ray have been introduced this week. The Sea Ray Adventure is now available as a flyaway LSA with Rotax 912 power with a basic panel radios and transponder for less than $120,000. If you have a taste for the best in everything, the Sea Ray Elite Sports, a turbocharged Rotax 914 Garmin G3X panel, as well as a number of deluxe features for less than $160,000 as a flyaway LSA. A&M's Jim Campbell spent nearly an hour in the Sea Ray Elite last week and came away impressed. A&M CEO and Editor-in-Chief Jim Campbell reported, after flying various iterations of the Sea Ray for two and a half decades, it's hard to be more impressed than I have been over the years, but this latest generation offers even better flying qualities than ever and is easily the best sport amphib currently available. Even when compared to competitive aircraft costing over $100,000 more, best yet, this is a solid responsible company for which we've received glowing customer reports for over 20 years. After the break, Dynon updates Skyview software. Progressive Aerodyne's Sea Ray Elite offers turbocharged Rotax Power and Garmin G3X Touch Avionics. Incredibly well equipped, you can fly away in this best in category Amphib for less than $160,000. Visit SeaRay.com for more details. Your Cessna 172 or 177 wants a TrueTrack autopilot, and so do many others. Visit TrueTrackAP.com and get your airplane added to the model list. The TrueTrack autopilot at TrueTrackAP.com. Since 2001, MGL Avionics has produced avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. The flagship product is the IEFIS, a comprehensive next-generation flight, engine, and navigation instrument designed to meet the demands of the modern pilot. See more at www.mglavionics.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aerol TV, the new AMA Drone Report, our website, or podcast, just email to news spy at aerol-news.net. Dynine has released Skyview version 15.1, which adds yaw damper capability VPX support on HDX. 
improve Rotax 912 IS fault, troubleshooting information, and dozens more improvements and fixes. Major 15.1 features include support for the new SV80SB472 dual band traffic and weather receiver, a yaw damper on Skyview HDX, touch and classic VPX support for Skyview HDX, new Rotax 912 IS faults menu. To aid in engine installation and troubleshooting and many improvements to existing features, such as scrollable checklists, improved QWERTY keyboard on touchscreens, toggleable airport flags, and more. Dynon says there are two ways to update the software on your Skyview system. Method one, packages all the most commonly downloaded files and packages that are available for US and Western Europe systems. Method two, requires that you download and load multiple files to your Skyview system individually. The company also announced that its dual band SV80SB472 receives ADSB traffic via 978 MHz and 1090 MHz is now shipping and also receives free text and graphical weather from the FAA's network of ADSB ground stations. Unlike portable ADSB receivers, Skyview and AF5000 pilots receive full ADSB and radar traffic when the SV ADSB 472 is paired with Dynon's Mode S transponder and SV GPS 2020. The smaller dual band SV ADSB 472 is priced at $795. If you already own an SV ADSB 470, Dion has a trade in program available for existing customers. After these messages, the PAC 45 is introduced. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. PS Engineering has introduced another dimension to cockpit audio with the PAC-45 audio controller with Multitalker. Focused on special mission audio requirements, the PAC-45 addresses the needs of the airborne law enforcement, medical transport, or fire suppression with features for the demanding environment. The PAC-45 incorporates PS Engineering's licensed and patented digital audio processing multi-talker to locate up to six communication radios spatially in the crew's headset. A new report, attitude, and heading reference systems market by type component in use and region global forecast to 2022 indicates the market is projected to grow from $537.5 million in 2016 to $723.8 million in 2022. A rise in aircraft deliveries and an increasing demand for attitude and heading reference systems for use in UAVs are some of the factors expected to drive the attitude and heading reference systems market. NASA officially has launched a new resource to help the public search out and download out-of-this-world images, videos, and audio files by keyword and metadata searches from nasa.gov. The NASA Image and Video Library website consolidates imagery spread across more than 60 collections into one searchable location. 
The Air Force's Manpower Personnel and Services Deputy Chief of Staff has testified on the pilot shortage before the House Armed Services Subcommittee on Military Personnel. At the end of fiscal year 2016, the total force made up of the active duty, reserve, and guard was short 1,555 pilots across all mission areas. The Air Force is addressing the air crew crisis via monetary and non-monetary initiatives. Harris Corporation has achieved major cost savings and delivery milestones for avionics supporting the F-35 Lightning II. Since the beginning of the F-35 program, Harris has worked with industry partners to deliver more than 780,000 items with 99.8% on-time accuracy. Harris has implemented affordability initiatives that have reduced the avionic shipset costs for each aircraft by 64%. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now, let's get back to the rest of the news. The Lindbergh Foundation, which developed the Air Shepherd program to protect elephants and rhinos from poaching by using drones, has announced an upcoming celebration of the 90th anniversary of Charles Lindbergh's first solo transatlantic flight. The event taking place on May 20th also marks the 40th anniversary of the foundation created to continue the vision of Charles and Anne Morrill Lindbergh. The gathering will be held at the Explorers Club in New York, where the Lindbergh Foundation was created decades after the epic New York to Paris flight. Charles and Anne Morrill Lindbergh and their profound contributions to the modern age of aviation will be the focus of the night, along with the Lindbergh Foundation support of the advanced application of specialized electric aircraft to reduce poaching, as well as the future of revolutionary electric-powered aviation. As part of this memorable event, the Lindbergh Foundation will recognize Anusha Ansari, the first female civilian astronaut international space ambassador, businesswoman, and philanthropist who will be presented with the N. Morrill Lindbergh Award. Air Shepard's anti-poaching drone program designed to end the existential threat to Africa's rhinos and elephants. Ongoing innovations in clean, quiet electric aircraft as a viable means of transportation. Significant contributions by those who effectively balance technology and the environment. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited stream daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.